Rahman Rahim. Welcome to the Quantity Survey Course Cost Estimation. In the Quantity Survey Course, first we will define the, what is the estimation. An estimate is a calculation of the quantities of various items of the work, like excavation of the work and the expenses likely to be incurred thereon like the ex extra expenses produced on the project of subcontract like that the total of these probable expenses to be incurred on the work is known as estimated cost of the work the estimated cost of the work is a close approximation of its actual cost so actual cost will determine after the completion of the project but estimated cost is the cost which is forecast by a quantity surveyor here it is the table view of the calculation of the quant different quantities description of items here may be earthwork in excavation earthwork in filling and a number of excavation and number of earth filling dpc damp proof course brick work in substructure and superstructure so these will there will be define the description of item and here the number of items and their length breadth height and then we will calculate calculate their volume and their area to calculate the quantity next here is the mechanism of the project first client gives the tender he explains each and everything about the project in the tender some structural and architectural drawings to in stipend with the tender notice and then cont different contractors bid on the tender then there is analysis of rate by the QS hired by contractor and then they provide their bid to the client and client will find his best contractor contractor selected by the client will be pointed as the contractor to complete the project next rate analysis determination of rates of work from the quantities and the cost of materials and the labors required is termed as analysis of rates when the tender is given by the client to the contractor then contractor contact to the QS he hired a QS quantity surveyor and the quantity surveyor does this job he do the rate analysis and find the good way to bid on the tender here typical example of rate analysis here you see rough stone and your cost per cubic meter and this is the analysis rate analysis of different materials next tender tender is an offer given in writing to execute a specified project at a certain rate within fixed time under a certain condition of agreement between the contractor and the party between the owner and the contractor which may be a government department or an individual actually a tender is a notice which is provided by a client of the project to the different contractors and then contractor select bid on that tender and then at the end con client select a uh, different contractor on which he will rely 
this is the tender notice construction and development of university macron gate it's called deposit 2 percent miscellaneous civil works in the university 2 percent here it is explained each and everything in the tender notice beside this in tender notice client provide the different drawings to the contractors contract contract is merely an agreement being of enforceable by law between the contractor and the client when the contractor bid on the tender of the owner of the project and they decide to work with each other then contract is happened a contract is signed between the client and the contractor quantity surveyors manage the cost on a construction project they help to ensure that construction project is completed within its projected budget price forecast the cost of the different materials needed for the project prepare tender documents contracts budgets bills of quantities and other documentation we will discuss in next bill of quantity in later videos different methods of detailed construction estimation preparation details of measurement and calculation of quantities this is the first method of estimation the complete work is divided into various items of work such as earthwork concreting concreting brickwork reinforced concrete plastering the detail of measurements are taken from the drawings and entered in respective columns of prescribed performa here you can see the performa the, all the details are noted in this performa here serial number of the description of the items here we describe the items like excavation of the earth filling of the earth PCC brickwork like that then we write the number of the quantity length breadth and height and then we calculate the quantity as a volume or as an area then here we define the explanatory notes about abstract of estimated cost this is the second master method of estimation the cost of each item of work is worked out from the quantities that already computed in detailed measurement from at workable rate but the total cost is work worked out in prescribed form is known as abstract of estimated form four percent of estimated cost is allowed for petty supervision agencies and unforeseen items here you can see performa of the abstract quantity estimation here we will define the item numbers and their description quantity which we calculated in our here you will see here we will calculate the measurements quantities in the first method and in second method we just put the these quantities in the quantity column and their unit 
of the quantities and their rates per unit uh, then we multiply them to get the amount which will be cost on that particular item third method unit item cost estimation unit cost method of estimation in construction projects starts with dividing a project into various components or elements for the purpose of cost estimation the cost of each of the projects components or elements are assessed and their cost estimation is calculated sum of cost of each project elements gives the total construction cost of the project so you in unit price calculation cost estimation we calculate the different materials separately like cement sand aggregate steel and others how to prepare block quantity on excel sheet we will discuss this at the end of the our course we will define a excel sheet for the bill of quantity but we will just discuss this what is bill of quantity here you can see there is serial numbers and name of items which will which we will work on the project like excavation ppc work m15 grade concrete is used footing concrete m25 steel quantity in footing and there in in next column you can see their quantity and other one unit and their rate and here we, we multiply the rate with quantity to produce the bill of quantity which is the duty of quantity surveyor okay thanks for watching this first introduction of the quantity survey course in later lectures we will discuss all these things in brief and apart from that discuss many other things in our course we will try to solve the calculation of the quantities of different items first like cement sand aggregate steel one by one and then we will calculate the quantities and estimation of the different components of the building like beam column slab foundation we will discuss the main methods of estimation long wall and short wall method and then next center to center line method we will take a project real project on of building and we will calculate the all the materials and estimation of different components of the buildings stay tuned for next lectures thanks